What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network here for an exciting video about where we combine the beautiful software projects of Wasabi Wallet with the fantastic hardware project of ColdCard, uh, where you can have air-gapped cold storage device, uh, where you never share private keys or public keys with anyone. This is the privacy maximalist setup for very secure cold storage. Fantastic. How do we actually do this? Well, first of all, get your Wasabi wallet downloaded, verified, and installed. And of course, do the same with, uh, with ColdCard. Make sure you're on the latest firmware and you have your wallet set up here on ColdCard. Videos about all that on the World Crypto Network. Check the playlists below. Uh, okay. Now in ColdCard, go to the advanced menu and then the micro SD card. And all the way at the bottom, uh, just beneath the Electrum wallet, you will find the menu option of Wasabi wallet. And when we open this, it will read, this saves a skeleton Wasabi wallet file onto the micro SD card. What is the skeleton file? Well, this is the public information, uh, the public keys, right, to the private key pair. The private keys never leave that device, but the wallet file has the extended C public key for back 32 sacred addresses uh, and some other stuff like master fingerprint uh, and derivation paths and other stuff that Wasabi needs. But very important with the Wasabi setup, this information is not shared with anyone. It's not put onto the internet, nothing. This is all done locally uh, and this file never leaves your local device if, <laughs> assuming it is, it is secure here. So you can then import or open that file in Wasabi without ever connecting this cold card to your computer, right? And that is fantastic. We have here two air gap. You never use a uh, USB cable in order to connect this, right? This is connected to the power cable, uh, not USB. We never connect uh, to data transfer the USB to the laptop. Uh, the file created is sensitive in terms of privacy, but it should not compromise your funds directly, right? It's public information. Wasabi will use this in order to find out if you actually have coins on that wallet. Hopefully you do. Uh, but it is not the private keys. Again, they are stored securely here on the uh, hardware secure module right here on the cold card. We'll never ever leave that. Uh, okay, when we now press the check mark, uh, we will generate that device. And when the SD card blinks right here, it has finished writing this. And now we have a new wallet.json file right here. Now get out the SD card right here. And with another SD card or card holder, uh, put this into your laptop. Uh, now we can jump into the screen share of Wasabi Wallet uh, that we have open here in the hardware wallet tab. Uh, and the cool thing is you could either now plug in with a USB stick, the boring way, your cold card or your Trezor, uh, for example, or another hardware wallet. It works with pretty much every hardware wallet uh, because we use partially signed Bitcoin transactions. And that's just the cutting edge standard that really every wallet should use. Uh, so the cool thing is though with cold card, we have in version 1.1.6 of Wasabi wallet, this little button right here, import your cold card. This is the tailor-made setup, the pair Wasabi and cold card, a match made in heaven. <laughs> so when we click import, uh, we will open up here a file management system and we can see the SD card right here with the public keys, the new wallet.json uh, file. Fantastic. We open this now and immediately Wasabi will see this is the cold card and we have it now connected. You could theoretically rename this, uh, by the way, by opening the wallet file and simply renaming cold card wallet to whatever you want it uh, to be named. Uh, now, though, what you can do is click load wallet. And now it will check if there are locally downloaded block filters uh, that tell you exactly uh, what transactions are or uh, if your transaction is included in a block. And if one is included, it will download that block uh, or request that block from your own Bitcoin full node, your own that you have verified. And then you know that you actually do have money here on this cold card. Well, but you can also have uh, then for, uh, if you do not have a full node, you can use the, uh, or you can download that specific block from a random Bitcoin peer-to-peer -peer node over Tor. Uh, so regardless, even if you don't do the verification, which you should do, uh, then you can still preserve your privacy. That is fantastic for light wallet users, light client users. Here in the advanced tab, you see build transaction. And here you will see all the different, well, coins that you already have, right? We see, uh, that we have four coins on this hardware wallet already. Maybe they are from previous mixing rounds, for example. Here, the 0.005 is a testnet mixing coin. Uh, 
right? And what I can do though, is I can also receive onto this cold card uh, directly because I have the public keys, right? I can generate the address. For example, uh, if I want to send uh, from a Wasabi hot wallet where I just did my coin join funds, right? And so I want to coin join stack sats. Perfect. Uh, and that every Monday, uh, we know that. So we generate that and immediately we have copied to the clipboard the back 32 address, SegWit, of course. Uh, version zero though, hopefully version one soon. Uh, and we can now jump into the uh, building transaction to test how we could actually send one transaction, okay? So this will be another scenario. Uh, well, I want to send specifically this coin joint file. Right, uh, I've done that, I've coin joined that, that, that is where I have the anonymity set, um, which unfortunately is not yet shown here. Um, and I can now send this to this address with the label, for example, uh, Crypto Hippie VPN. Uh, fantastic for, uh, yeah. Uh, and this will cost me, well, let's say 200,000 Satoshis, right? 0.002 Bitcoin. Uh, I could set the transaction fee, well, on testnet, it's pretty low. Uh, and now, as you see right here, it says build transaction. And well, what does it do now here? When we click this, it will build the partially signed Bitcoin transaction, which has all the important stuff that you need. You see the fee rate, uh, or well, it's copied to the clipboard as well now. Um, you see the transaction hash, for example, the previous output, which is actually spent, right? Uh, and here also then the public key of the addresses that it pays, right? Uh, it also has the transaction hacks, uh, that which uh, can be then, well, it could be sent via that way as well, but also the partially signed Bitcoin base 64 string. This is all the information here that cold card needs in order to securely verify if these coins uh, are actually on cold card and how much money is sent with what fees and everything. Uh, this is a very, very secure communication mechanism for unsigned transactions. Well, uh, what we do here on the bottom right uh, is export this binary PSPT. Uh, and this will again open up here uh, our, uh, well, uh, manager here. And we can now say this is our VPN transaction. Uh, and we save that on the SD card. Now we plug out the SD card and back into the cold card. We can actually also stop the screen share here. Uh, so after getting the SD card in, we go all the way to the top, uh, to the ready to sign. And it will read that it now has, well, what is here on this cold card? And automatically, are you okay to send this money, right? We, well, in this case, are consolidating transactions because we are sending to ourselves, but it will now exactly show you what it is, uh, what it is signing. So here we're consolidating, right? We have one UTXO and we create two out of them. Uh, and we also have one in uh, minus fees and two out, right? So the inputs here, minus fees, uh, of course, that's what we have to pay for, 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 for the mining. And then we get two outputs. It shows you all this here with a total network fee of 286 uh, Satoshis. All the information that you need in order to really well, be sure that you have all the coins uh, that, well, back here in this case. It would also show you, for example, addresses um, if you send to an external wallet. Uh, that is very important. Again, it does all this PSBT logic and it shows you what you actually need to know in that specific case. Fantastic, fantastic. So if you if you're okay with this, we press sign. And it will check everything and it will sign. Now it has the updated PSPT, uh, which is VPN signed and the finalized transaction, which is ready for broadcast of VPN final. Uh, fantastic. We can again get the, cold, uh, the SD card out of the cold card, uh, back into the laptop uh, and jumping now again into Wasabi in order to finally well, broadcast that beautiful, beautiful transaction here on the right side, broadcast transaction. We could theoretically copy the PSPT or hex string, um, but again, we can import the transaction from our cold card. Uh, here the SD will show the VPN PSPT, which is the one we've created on uh, Wasabi, the signed PSPT, which is what uh, cold card has just generated in the PSPT format, 
as well as the final transaction, which is just a hex uh, that is then, I think, also included on the time chain uh, exactly that way. You know, you could choose whichever. Uh, you can send the hex here into Wasabi or the final signed PSPT uh, because Wasabi can do the same calculations as well. Um, really, it doesn't matter. Let's just use the final transaction for now. Uh, and we will see right here, it is the hex string uh, of well, exactly what we are saying here, right? We could decode that. Now we can say broadcast transaction and it will send this out over Tor uh, to all the Bitcoin full nodes transactions sent successfully. Fantastic. We just did it. Complete air gap setup uh, of your cold card and Wasabi. Uh, and now you see right here, uh, we have uh, received the coin joint stacking sats every Monday, and we've just bought ourselves a crypto hippie VPN. <laughs> fantastic. Okay, Piers, is that, come on, is that, is that not awesome? This is fantastic, right? A complete air gapped setup with a hyper, hyper, hyper secure hardware secure module, open source Libre Bitcoin only device, as cypherpunk is fuck, so to say. Uh, and together with that, we use Wasabi Wallet, this multifaceted tool of self-defense uh, where you can have the hot wallet with coin joints. And then you can move these hot wallet coin joint funds very easily onto your hyper secure cold card. Uh, and then easy as pie, as you've just seen here, within a couple minutes, uh, you can do, or even a couple seconds, uh, just do these transactions back and forth very easy to do, very secure, very private. These are the tools that we have at our disposal. Well, it is up to us to actually go out and use them. Thank you very much, Piers, for joining me here again on the World Crypto Network uh, and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.